I'm Simon O'Meara, farming here in Wildon, West Otago, with my wife Penny and three children. And we're farming 565 hectare uh, sheep and beef property. We're uh, looking at a wintering block here where we're wintering Frisian bulls on fodder beet and uh, just looking at the way we're grazing them really, so that's what we're here for today. With the winter the way it is, we really have to carry some feed through from the summer into the winter to be able to, to get through and uh, you know, fodder beet and kale and winter brassicas are a good, good option just to carry some quality right through and especially fodder beet with cattle, we're taking some good quality feed that they can grow right through into October on, so um, yeah, it's been a real winner. Yeah, the Palmer Harker catchment project was um, started up about three years ago and um, it was basically a group of farmers, all farmers, sheep and beef, dairy and forestry and everybody all got together and uh, decided that we needed to um, improve the Palmahaka River because it was labelled by the Otago Regional Council as the worst river in Otago so we thought well that's not really good enough so we all got together and um, thought well how are we going to go about improving it so we, we um, decided the best way was to see what the problem was with a lot of water testing and uh, yeah so the group started off testing a lot of tributaries, all the tributaries, the main river as well and um, saw where the problem was and found out that it wasn't actually just a dairy problem and it was uh, pretty much catchment wide So and that was when we started doing some on farm water testing and uh, yeah, me being a sheep and beef farmer I thought oh yeah it's not my problem but when we started testing on this place we found out that uh, yeah there was water quality issues here maybe different to the dairy industry but where it was more sediment and phosphorus but uh, so that's why we've um, needed to focus a wee bit more on winter crops because that seems to be our weakest link with when we've got the best soil. What we're doing is uh, changing the way we graze paddocks, making sure we don't let anything anywhere near any waterways and we're grazing paddocks from the top down so that uh, we can uh, you know, stop the sediment ending up in the waterways. So grazing down the hill from top to bottom we're um, what we're doing is when the stock are uh, loosening up any soil and there's a rainfall event the sediment will come down the hill through the um, break where it's been eaten through the crop and then there'll be a grass buffer before the waterway or the drain or the critical source area that, so that all the sediment will get trapped before it gets into the waterway so that's the that's the crux of the grazing management. With uh, the last break as you're coming into the wrapping up grazing the paddock with your mob um, you want to have a good buffer zone of grass on a flat area probably at least two to three metres and on a steep area maybe anything up to 20 metres and so the, the further back you go the better but uh, if you're grazing that last that last break um, on a dry day preferably or a dry couple of days so that there's no sediment loss that's going to end up in the waterway. Yeah, When we're grazing the paddocks um, you know top to bottom now we're seeing it when we're coming down the hill and there's a rainfall event the sediment's actually flowing through the crop that's been grazed into the leafed area that hasn't been grazed and uh, it stops there, it's not even getting into the grassed area so um, that's showing us that it really does work. Yeah so I think it's something that every farmer should adopt um, initially especially with cattle it's a no-brainer just to do straight away but there's uh, you know real gains to be made with stopping that sediment, there's a lot of soil that has been shown to be moving with cattle grazing on winter crops with that, all that bare soil we're really vulnerable in the winter so you know you've just got to get on and do it, it's, um, it's just stopping that sediment right where it's where it's started rather than waiting for it to come downstream. It's been reasonably easy, it's just a change of mindset really where you're grazing them and you've got a, something else to think about, you're not just thinking about water troughs or uh, where you put them in the, in the easiest gate it is to get to, it's a matter of uh, you know, thinking about it a year in advance and planning, making sure you've got water in the right place and uh, maybe putting up a couple of extra electric fences to make sure that you um, can do it properly.